feeling like we're gonna fight ya Anything to make the crowd hate ya And I bring the fire like a lighter I'm flexing on you sucker, this is fight club Don't ever try to play me, I'm not with the fun Rookie of the year, and I'm hella young They call me Zombie Ray What's up, Fight Fam, and welcome to Boxing Bros on a Wednesday. That's right. We got together and we decided to hit you with another, you know, so check it out. I'm Kaden, my co-host. Introduce yourselves. What's going on? This is Trail. This is G. And it's the TV. What up, bro? It's Gray Hoodie Ned, and you know anything can happen with Gray Hoodie wow. Ned. All right, so the first topic we're going to discuss on Boxing Bros are comments made by Eddie Hearn, and this is Yahoo Sports, but I'm going to skip all the malarkey and go straight to the quotes, uh, where Eddie Hearn says, uh, looking at the bigger undisputed picture, all Joshua wants is the WBC title, Hearn told Sky Sports News. He was never worried if it came against Wilder or Fury. Whoever owns that belt is who Joshua will face for the Undisputed Championship. We know the winner of Saturday's fight will be ordered to face the winner of Fury Wilder. If Fury does not want to fight White, then White will be elevated to champion from interim champion. Now, I do not like that, but what will happen, Joshua will fight White straight away for the Undisputed Championship. You always want to fight a champion. But if Fury refuses to do a fight that he has been ordered by the WBC, then we will be then he will be stripped of the title. Then White will be fighting for undisputed championship. So, Trill Dollar Bill, what are your thoughts on those comments by Eddie Hearn? <laughs> Poor Dillian. Why he gotta go through all this? This is like just too much, man. But of course, of course, it sounds right. It sounds about right. Um, he should ask for that. If Tyson Fury doesn't fulfill his obligations like he's supposed to, which is, means he has to um, defend his uh, WBC belt against um, Dillian White if he doesn't do so and he does get stripped, which I don't think is going <laughs> to. I just don't. I just think it's going to be a whole bunch of mess. That's just me. After with everything we've done seen so far with the WBC and everything that Dillian has gone through so far, I think it's just is going to be another hurdle after this. All right, G. I agree with Eddie Hearn on this one. You know, um, I know we talked about it like probably a week ago, but yeah, man, like Joshua wants the belts. You know, he wants to be undisputed. I feel like, you know. If I had to pick somebody, man, if he should be that person to be undisputed, you know? And so, because it doesn't mean he doesn't fight Fury. I feel I feel like, hey, if Fury doesn't want to honor the mandatories for the WBC, that's cool. Whoever um, wins, Pavekian or Dillian, if they get that belt, they get the vacant title or whatever, how are they going to do it? If they just email one of them, AJ fights them again. And a, we know AJ already beat them both, so this will probably be the easiest route towards undisputed for Joshua. And then immediately after, I think public pressure will kind of force Joshua into fighting Fury, you know? And so I think it's a win-win for everybody, man. We get to see undisputed, and I'm pretty sure Joshua will most likely fight Tyson Fury after that. So, and Tyson Fury doesn't have to be married to the belts. So I think everybody wins if that situation actually occurs. Mm. Nah, I do. Yeah, I agree with Hearns. And like G said, um, AJ's main goal is undisputed. It's not like a mega fight. Um, if Fury doesn't want to become, doesn't want to honor his mandatory or uh, keep the belt, he doesn't. Uh, he is not Joshua's main concern. Joshua's main concern was and is always to become undisputed first. So once that happens, you know, that fight would take place after, but you know, let's get on the street. What 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 show am I on? This is just <laughs> you know, kidding me. All right. So let's do a deep dive in. Like my man Lee Corso used to say, not so fast, my friend. Now, what is he supposed to say? He promotes Dillian White. So is he supposed to say, oh no, if uh Fury vacates those belts. Oh, we Joshua still going to fight Fury. No, he's not supposed to say that. He's supposed to say that Joshua would fight uh, White. 
because he promotes both guys. If he says anything other than that to the public, Dillian White should sue him, which we know Dillian White is accustomed to doing, right? Because Eddie Hearn is supposed to do what's in the best interest of his fighters. And for Dillian White, it would be in his best interest to fight for Undisputed, right? So he's supposed to say what he's supposed to say. Now, here's where conflict of interest comes in. Is doing what's best for Dillian White necessarily doing what's best for Anthony Joshua? Yeah. Right? I will argue it. I don't, I don't think, I don't know so. That would be easier. Anthony fight. Joshua could fight for undisputed mm -hmm. or he can fight for more money. Right? So it's up to Joshua what's in his best interest. Right? Joshua may say, I want the money. Now, Eddie Hearn is saying Josh was going to go after the belts, but when it's all said and done, it's what Joshua wants. So although Eddie Hearn is saying Joshua would take Dillian White and go for the belts, we don't necessarily know that. Joshua may say, I want Tyson Fury, and here's why. Let's say the WBC emails Dillian White the belt after Tyson Fury decides not to fight him, and Joshua sparks him out. He will have the label undisputed champion, but he still won't be the lineal champion. He won't be the lineal champion. There'll still be a debate as to who's the baddest man on the planet. However, let's say Anthony Joshua chooses to go the alternative route and fight Tyson Fury. Not only will he make more money, beating Tyson Fury would make him the lineal champion, and no one would be debating who's the baddest man on the planet because everyone would already know. See, Fighting Dillian White will give you an accolade, but it will, it will not answer questions about who's the best fighter in the heavyweight division, and it will not give him lineal status. So beat Dillian White, become undisputed champ. You're still not lineal champ, and people are still going to be saying Tyson Fury is the real WBC and the baddest man on the planet. Why not make the most money by fighting Tyson Fury? If you win, you become lineal. And everyone's going to know he should have been a WBC champion. And then you can take care of Dillian White after. I, I see what you're saying. But there's sure bets in this. He already beat Dillian. So it's a pretty – if no I was – uh, it, It's more of a sure bet. Gene Rodman thought it was a sure bet. Y'all look at it like this. Igor Mario Hansen thought it was a sure bet. Tyson <laughs> Fury and possibly lose – everything or fight the guy that you've already beaten before become undisputed and then fight Tyson Fury after you know what I'm saying like like to me I feel like yeah go for the Dillian White fight it's an easier fight and you'll be undisputed and then if you do lose to Tyson Fury you're already named amongst who said one. Dillian White's an easier fight I believe Dillian White is an easier fight than Tyson Fury just like I believe that Eddie Hearn is telling the truth because I don't see a promoter lying on behalf of the guy with okay, like, so now we now that we know that you what you believe. It ain't about what no you, you believe, believe that Eddie's lying. Right. But you're believing that Eddie's lying. What I know, this is the one thing I give Anthony Joshua since like three years ago when we used to go back and forth about Joshua and Wilder. AJ always said it doesn't matter who got the belt. I want to be undisputed. And because he's remained that consistent argument, he, he's always made that point. I have to believe Eddie Hearn on this one. Like, starters, AJ doesn't care who got the belt. I'm fighting whoever for the belt. And then, like, to me, boom, they fight. And then at, right after, you can fight Tyson Fury. And then if you lose... Or you can fight him before, and you can fight Dillian White after. I never said that uh, Eddie Hearn's lying. I'm just saying, what else is he supposed to say? And what I'm saying is, this isn't just a clear-cut answer. There's pros and cons when you go both ways. The, the pro with Dillian is that you will be undisputed champion. The con is you won't be lineal champion, and everyone will know Dillian White didn't earn the WBC belt in the ring. He got it through email. That's, that's going to be the cons. Now, the pro to be in Tyson Fury is you make more money, you become lineal, and everyone's going to know Tyson Fury's the man who beat Deontay Wilder and really got the WBC strapped. So everyone's going to view you as the undisputed champion anyway, and you're going to be, without a doubt, the number one guy in the division. Then you can go fight Dillian White and collect that strap. So um, 
that's what I mean. There's pros and cons to each guy. To me, it's not definitive that uh, Anthony Joshua himself is going to be satisfied with fighting Dillian over Tyson Fury. Because remember, when it's all said and done, if it came out of Joshua's mouth, it would mean more to me than it coming out of Eddie Hearn's mouth is all I'm saying. Eddie Hearn is supposed to do what's in the best interest of the fighters. If Joshua says, what I want and what's in my best interest is to beat Alineo and beat the man who beat Deontay Wilder, who could argue with that? And Eddie better make it happen. So for me, it doesn't matter what Eddie says. It matters what Joshua says. Eddie's saying what he has to say because he's in the pockets of Dillian White and Anthony Joshua. There it is. <laughs> Anybody got something to add to that? Nah. You sure, G? Go ahead, G. Nah, nah, Go nah, ahead. Nah, we got a difference of opinion. I, I just feel like the safer route for, for Joshua would be the Dillian, White, uh, the Dillian White angle as opposed to the Tyson Fury because you could always get that Tyson Fury fight. And we know Tyson Fury just says he wants the big fights. So Tyson Fury doesn't care about mandatories. That's cool. Get Tyson Fury out the way, just become undisputed, and then fight Tyson Fury. So then people can't dispute if, in fact, you're the best of this uh, era. All you have to do is beat Tyson Fury. But there's a strong chance Tyson Fury could win. So to me, from a strategic standpoint, it's like, yo, just get that other strap. Become undisputed. You're now a part of history. Then fight Tyson Fury. Because if you fight Tyson Fury first, you could lose. And then you lost pretty much everything that you built your whole career around. Once, so again, like, once again, G promotes ducking the toughest fight out there. Mm-hmm. I know, once again, once again, once again G promotes, duck. G promotes, uh, ducking, yes. G promotes ducking the big Stop fight it. out there. Why fight Josh for four hundred twenty million when you can fight Fury? Hold, 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 hold. Nobody said because uh, what's wrong is Fury could tough. beat you. Dillian White could beat you. That's okay. the problem. But nobody said for AJ to duck Fury. Mm-hmm. Uh, what I said was clear. Fury does not want to uh, be married to the obligations of the fight. That's why you think he should fight Dillian. Now, what I'm saying is Fury's not going to honor those mandatories at all. So that, that title's going to be gone most likely. AJ's been talking since forever that he wants to be undisputed. Get that strap from a guy you've already beaten. That would be easier than fighting Tyson Fury, arguably the best dude in the heavyweight division. Beat Dillian White, which you've already beaten. Or if, let's say, Pavekian wins. Beat Pavekian, another guy you've already beaten. And then go and settle um, and go negotiate with Tyson Fury to make a mega fight. And not to mention, hopefully when that fight happens, you know, this whole this whole pandemic thing will be over. And then they can get some hey. money on top of that. I'm all about, I'm with you, G. I'm all about postponing fights. You know me. I ain't all about <laughs> rushing it, too. <laughs> I just, I just, yeah, I I'm say like this. It's a sad day in the sport of boxing. Because, <laughs> because usually when you heard undisputed champion, there was no doubt that the lineal status was attached to that. That's true. Now, we're yeah. talking about you have to either be undisputed or lineal. So now you're saying you could either be the man that beat the man or you can be the man who's undisputed. To me, you're not the man unless you beat the man. Like, it's just the way it is. So what your, what your, what your mindset is like Josh was saying he wanted to be undisputed. Joshua wanted to be undisputed. But you never asked Joshua what's more important, being the man that beat the man, being able – if I made a list, right, of the, the lineal – heritage, right, of all the fighters who inherited the lineal title, Joshua's name would not be on that list. I understand that. That's to me. We're arguing two different things. To, to be, for your name to mm-hmm. be on that list, right, mm-hmm. going back to John L. Sullivan, you got uh, Jack Johnson, you got Edgar Mario Hanson, Floyd Patterson, you got Joe Lewis, you got all these guys' name on that list. Yeah, you can call yourself a champion, but you're not on the list with these guys. You're not on the list with Mike Tyson. You're not on the list with Lennox Lewis. You're not on the list with all those great names until you become linear. You understand? And that's why it's more important for me to see Joshua and Fury than it is to see the email champion of the world. Yo, I, I think y'all, I think y'all saying the same thing. That's what I'm but saying. I think I think G is saying that will he snatch up the belt from Dillian first so he could be undisputed and then negotiate a big mega fight because it will be bigger, undisputed versus Lineo with Tyson Fury. I don't think it will be bigger. I think Fury you got think just go right in, and you're saying go right to the money. 
Because people are already going to look at Dillian White as a paper champion. He never won it in the ring. And it's, and, and it's sad, but he never won in the ring. He would have received it by email. So what is what, what would beating Dillian White do for Anthony Joshua? We already know he can beat Dillian White. So he beats Dillian White, and then he's going to go in there like I'm undisputed. Everyone's going to laugh. It's like when um, Jack Johnson originally won the title, when he beat Burns, and everyone was like, yeah, but you're not the real champion because Jeffries retired. So Jack Johnson had to beat Jeffries. He had to win the title twice. He had, to, he had to beat Burns, then he had to beat Jeffries before people would recognize him as the first black champion of the world. What I'm trying to tell you, my brother, is I know exactly what's going to happen if he goes and he wipes out Dillian White. Everyone's going to be like, you're not undisputed until you beat Tyson Fury. You're not lineal. You're not this. Exactly. And, and that's what he said. And that would create a bit mega fight. Undisputed. He will not be undisputed if he beats Tyson Fury because Tyson Fury is going to give up his belt. It's not, about, it's not about that. It's about perception. It's about what the people are going to say. I understand that. But again, no, let's just be real. We, uh, we have short-term memory when it comes to a lot of fighters. You know, dudes win vacant belts all the time. And as long as they defend that belt, people forgive them. they be like, yo, he's a legit champion. You no, know, people have, don't. Nah, See, people do no. Right. That's how that's how majority of the people knew Wilder was gonna get his ass whooped when he fought Tyson Fury. He got real champ versus fake champ. That's how that's how most people knew. Yeah, but what I'm saying is this: I get what you're trying to say. I get your argument. I really do. But again, you could still become undisputed and then go up against the lineal champion right after. Because Tyson, I'm saying this. This is my argument I had it a lot when we did the live. We're, we're punishing Joshua for Tyson's bad behavior, and it's not fair to Anthony. It's not Tyson's bad behavior. It's it Wilder's bad behavior, and that's the whole point. Nah, Wilder no, never – As a champ, you have, to, you have to honor your mandatory. No, right? you don't have to honor your mandatory because Fury wasn't his mandatory. Fury was a voluntary. He let Fury cut the line instead of fighting Dillian White. If Wilder would have fought Dillian White, we would never be having this discussion because Dillian would have already got a shot. Tyson Fury won the belt. Tyson Fury has just won the belt against Deontay Wilder. Mm -hmm. Tyson Fury wants to fight Anthony Joshua for Undisputed in his very next fight. That's admirable. That's mm -hmm. beautiful. That's what we wish Wilder would have done. But instead, people are trying to criticize Fury because they're saying, oh, you should fight Dillian first. No, Fury wants the big fish, brother. That's what you call a boss. That's what you call a dawn. Something that like, well, the WBC, WBC before was not. So Fury's in a situation because Wilder never gave Dillian the shot for over a thousand days, right? So now everybody's saying, Fury, because this man was done wrong by the prior champion, you need to give him a shot. And Fury's saying, F that, I want to be undisputed. F that, I want to make the most money. F that, who is Dillian White? People want to see Fury versus Joshua, and he's not wrong. Well, Come Fury on. doesn't care about undisputed. You know, yo, it, bro, belts are nothing. The money. I agree with, no, hold on. I agree with you. The money. But it's something to Anthony Joshua. So because it's something to Anthony Joshua. Did Anthony Joshua say that? Did Anthony Joshua say that, did, Anthony Joshua say that or did Eddie Hearn say that? It, no, Anthony Joshua said it. You know what I mean? And that was the number well, one. Anthony argument. Joshua, hold on. Not don't give me an old quote. Anthony Joshua said he would prefer to fight Dillian White over Tyson oh, Fury. Bro. Hey, listen, listen. Listen. Well, let me know when he says that. I I, I ain't got that talk. quote. I ain't got that quote. I ain't got that, that quote. I'm let going by that. Joshua of the past, which I'm, I but, believe. Okay, but that was the whole you know Fury wasn't Fury wasn't in the game then. Fury didn't just knock out Wilder then. Mm -hmm. Let me know when you hear Joshua say, I would rather fight the man I already beat to become undisputed over fighting the man who knocked out Wilder and becoming lineal champ. Let me know when Joshua says that. Because to me, there's more historical significance in beating Tyson Fury than it would be beating Dillian White and becoming undisputed. Because you're at your name on the list of lineal champions that go all the way back to John L. Sullivan days, which you don't have right now. Anthony Joshua's name is not on the list of lineal heavyweight champions. He's not on the list with Lennox. He's not on the list with Tyson. He's not on the list with Joe Lewis. He's not on the list with Jack Dempsey. He's not on the list with Iggy Mario Hansen. He's not on the list with Floyd Patterson. He's not on the list with all the greats. Not right now. He needs to beat Tyson Fury to do that. Being Dillian White for that email belt does nothing for him. So, I, I agree. However, my plan 
still <laughs> applies because immediately after, you just fight Tyson Fury. You act like he just washed Dillian. You act like Dillian's just some bum. You act like so Dillian got knocked out what, round six or seven? I'm not saying Dillian's a bum. What I'm saying is Anthony Joshua has a higher probability of beating Dillian White than he does Tyson Fury. And so because of that, I'm like, what's the easiest route to get undisputed to then have that mega fight with Tyson Fury? Because if he has a mega fight with Tyson Fury right now, he's not going to be undisputed. So then what's going to happen is he he fights Tyson Fury first. Then he has to fight Dillian White, right, just to get undisputed. Why not? Yo, listen, and we all know it's hard to get undisputed. This is your opportunity. Just get undisputed and then fight Tyson Fury. Because then, to me, if Tyson Fury does beat Anthony Joshua, it, Tyson Fury does deserve to be undisputed. Like, we're talking about the best of the best in the division. So, to me, if they're going to fight and this is a mega fight, it should be a mega fight for undisputed. That's all I'm saying. So you could, Trill, you could, you could take us home, Trill. I th- you're right. We're missing the point. He's stuck <laughs> on undisputed. I, my point is... Winning it's the same thing. Even, even, but, but even if we're talking about lineal, it's the same thing. Why not get all at once? Nah, get, bro, it's, get not, it's not, it's not the same thing, but it's cool, man. Like, I'm just confident that people are going to see what I'm saying, so I don't even feel the need to beat the dead horse. Well, people, y'all let us know which, how y'all feel and what y'all think. Please like and subscribe. Check us out on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. This is the Boxing Bros. Hey, I just want to say this. I believe tight um Dillian White getting the WBC belt when I see it. <laughs> <laughs> Catch me creeping down the dark street. Yeah, yeah. This is where it means the zombies me. Guarantee we all gonna eat. Yeah, yeah. It's zombie red again with HD. I'm a zombie in the night, you better run from me. Yeah. Zombie red in the house, you better run, homie. Yeah. Brought a mask and some gloves with some thugs with me. I came to do damage. Wanna purge with me? Super Saiyan zombie. I'll be.